For those who like traveling and don't like housework, living in a caravan is just the life. But to a man with modern ideas like designer Alan Eckford, caravans have their limitations. There's the parking problem, for example. So for something that, in his opinion, went out with the art, he designed just that. A caravan just as much at home in the water as on land. The amphibian otter. The otter is, in fact, more helpless on land. It still has to be towed, although with a towing weight of only 11 and a half hundred weight, it can be pulled by a car as small as eight horsepower. Leaving the other stick in the mud stuck to the caravan site, we're all set for a day on the River Lee at Broxbourne. No need to drive right into the river. The otter can be launched quite simply from the side of the bank. All you need are two sets of muscles. So without the usual ceremony, Alan and his friend Ron Sams, who built the amphibian, prepare for the launching. Alan takes off the number plate. He doesn't want passers-by to think his caravan just fell in. If you're contemplating regular river holidays in this fashion, a bottle of champagne each time can be expensive, so Alan and Ron get used to launching her without the usual trimmings. On board, a few final touches make her seaworthy, or rather river-worthy, for despite her unsinkable appearance, the otter isn't clogged for ocean crossings. Powered by a one and a half horsepower engine, will be reversed independently of the steering rudder. The vessel cruises at four miles per hour on three pints. Well, in specialities is racing dinghies, and in designing this craft, he hasn't forgotten the speed merchants. For those who want to churn up the waterways, he's fitted a four horsepower engine, but if you want to relax, this is the way to do it. When it's time to leave, the otter can be hauled out of the water by one person operating a specially designed winch mounted on the towing chassis. Simple, but who knows, at this rate, someone will soon invent an amphibious caravan helicopter. Then we'll be seeing a thing or two.